Now we're going to talk about performance here. How does one go about increasing performance of the vehicle without doing any major internal engine modifications? No turbocharger, uh, no, no change in the injectors and whatnot. That's what this is all about. Throughout of all of our experimentation with different products, all of which we bought off eBay, everything that we have in this vehicle we bought on eBay. The combination of parts that we put together here puts down 600 foot-pounds of torque. That's almost double what the stock torque is, almost double the power, and almost a 30% increase in fuel economy. Now you think about that for a second. Double the power and almost one-third again as much better fuel economy. Riding around in a truck that's performance tuned that puts down 600 foot-pounds of torque is really sort of an amazing experience because when you're in traffic, there isn't anybody you can't pass or any place you can't go, regardless of what kind of load you're pulling. The idea of the performance modifications that we've done to this truck are number one, to increase the performance, number two, to increase fuel economy without, and number three, without causing any long-term detrimental damage to the engine. Now, obviously, if you run the hell out of the truck, even if it's a stock truck, you're going to damage the engine or wear it out prematurely. So even with the power upgrades, a little bit of discretion goes a long way. If you're going to do any performance modifications to your truck, it's real important that you have a set of gauges like these that I have in my truck. This first gauge on the top is probably the single most important gauge that you can install. This is called a pyrometer. What it measures is heat or temperature. I have it installed just after the turbocharger coming down the downpipe where it's extremely hot. EGTs or exhaust gas temperatures are crucial to the longevity of your engine. If you allow EGTs to get too high, they can burn exhaust valves, wears out the rings, damages internal parts of the engine. Very important that you have this gauge. The second gauge here is called a transmission temperature gauge. Also very important, you don't want to run the temperature of your transmission over about 220 really. What happens is the clutches come apart inside the transmission and it starts to wear out prematurely. In performance applications when you're pushing an automatic transmission, you can cause it some damage. Now the last one there, that's a boost gauge. And that's pretty much just for fun. As you can see the engine, feel the engine make the power. The truck is a lot of fun to drive. And it's entertaining to drive it and you can wow your friends with it. But what really makes it worthwhile is to get the incredible fuel economy that we're getting out of this truck. I invite and encourage you to pick up the performance module from PowerStrokeHealth.com so that we can show you the modifications that can be done, some of them with just simple hand tools right there in your own garage, uh, to be able to increase the performance of your vehicle so that you can get the most out of it. might need to suck a Corvette up your tailpipe, you know? Somebody you want to just show a little bit of something, something to. And my God, you'll have what it takes to do it. I'm here to tell you, with the gearing in this thing, third gear is just like Saturn V in this truck, son. 50 to 100, 120 is amazing in this thing. And uh, I drive the truck every day, and I got the speed tickets to prove it, too.